So you've been studying the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you ask me about it? I tried, Mom. A lot. You never wanted to talk about it. Cassie's just been curious, and we, we gave her some pointers. This isn't exactly ant science, is it, Henry? You know how dangerous the quantum realm is. We all do, Mom. Nobody's going to the quantum realm. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space or the ocean. But... Quantum. We just need a map. And then we can study and explore the entire quantum realm. Never even have to go. Your daughter built a subatomic Hubble telescope in a basement. <laughs> You know, if I had something like this when you were gone, then I could have found you. You come from above. Like him. He will burn the world to find you. Who? The Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror is the new iconic villain in the MCU. We knew we wanted to go to places that we'd never been. And pitting Ant-Man against a major villain felt perfect. Audiences have seen a version of this character in the series Loki. This is wild. In our film, he's very different. Kang is an infinite number of different personas. And you need an actor to be able to pull that off. And that is Jonathan Majors. I can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. Yeah. In this film, this is really a side of him we haven't seen. This is his baddest self. I will take my revenge on those who banished me. And I will burn them out of time. Yeah. I think the film is ultimately about how time plays within our relationship. Love, friendship, legacy, Ant-Man versus Kang. This is it. People are gonna lose their mind. You're out of your league, Ant-Man.